Wow. Oi. <laughs> This is uh, where are you at the Venice Carnival? Long. <laughs> Huh? Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This one is going to be one of your favorite ones. I think so at least. At least the judging by your kind of like comments, reactions, requests, etc. And I'm kind of like happy to do it in a very, very, very casual environment. So it's a very non-casual month. We all know that it's a fashion month, which means that most of the time you will not be seeing me in a casual, this kind of like friend to friend chat. And I I thought it would be really nice to do one casual video where we can just like sit on a very messy bed in comfy clothing with a cup of coffee in hand discussing well me but in a way that I feel like we can just be very relaxed very open and playful I am very happy also to present you one of my favorite guests on this channel if he ever actually gets yeah, ready I'm coming, I'm coming. who do you think takes longer to get ready Filippo or me because 100% it's Filippo okay baby hi everyone that's great spot yeah i kept you this one my love yes Here. yeah why this is for you well, you just showered right okay because your hair is still like a bit wet yeah i have to be by the way in um, santa bros in madison at 10 yeah you will more than make it there Perfect. is no problem with that don't worry the only thing is you stole my phone which was here right now and on it is all the material no, this is my phone. Then it's Look, somewhere here. It's right behind <laughs> I just you. accused you without a reason. Thank you. Okay, so, Filippo. How, how can I help? You can't sit like that. Look, my love. Look. No. Look where it's the camera, okay? So first of all, yeah. Do you want me to center it a bit better? No. Fine. But you cannot like lean forward, you will be out of focus. You remember in the last video you were constantly leaning forward okay, okay. and it messes up the whole video. Okay. So please, we have 20 minutes to focus on this. Go. I'm like looking on the timer, so take it seriously, yeah? Yes. So last New York Fashion Week, we actually did a video where Filippo was commenting on my style evolution and it was sort of related to New York Fashion Week only. And you guys seem to really like that video. Whether it's because you enjoyed mocking me. <laughs> no, because, uh, you know, everybody enjoy the judge thing all right but that's why we watch x factor that's why we watch we love master chef you love master chef yeah because you know when people is judging people it's uh, maybe not fair yeah but is uh, entertaining I love to judge myself because actually today when I was like searching for the looks I scrolled down to 2014 so 10 years ago looks and I was like I got the feeling that I felt in 2014 when I saw those pictures. Like, I remembered exactly the feeling. And it was kind of cool to see. But can I say something? Yes. I think that, you know, people call it judging. But sometimes if I think of myself, if I'm sitting at the restaurant mm -hmm. with Tamara, mm -hmm. I will look around. I will look at women. I will look at men. Because I like to not judge them, but I like to look how they dress. Yeah. I would look at your bag, I would look at your shoes, I would look at your outfit, I would look at your hairstyle. So is that judging? Question mark. I think it's uh, it is kind of judging, but I like to, you know, yeah. to take inspiration, not because I want to say oh you look cool or you look not cool at all. I just like to take inspiration from people. Like, yeah, you do it kind of analytically. Yeah, but people watching is one of the, I mean, if you ask to any of your followers how many times they sit in a place watching people walking, what is more entertaining than that? Anyway, it let's is go. true. It is quite entertaining. However, for me, I have to say, I barely ever judge what someone is wearing, as you know. Yeah, yeah. But again, it's not judging, it's like uh, looking at. Yeah. Yeah, I think you know? it like depends also on like kind of your personality a little bit. I as guess well. you're very visual and you're very like sort of. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have this beard and the long hair and uh, yeah. a t-shirt. Just for a bit of background for people who did not know, Filippo has worked uh, in fashion since. Uh, before dinosaurs walked on earth and it's quite entertaining for me also to get his like commentary also just so you know i never get offended no you about don't about the comments no also because i come from a very balkan family guys i mean if I just tell you that even my own mother would comment, oh, I saw you look the other day. Mm, yeah, I didn't really like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I come from a family that is like loves to criticize. It's a typical Balkan family. My sister would love to tell me like, oh, the hair didn't look good or oh, I don't think that was working out. So I'm used to it. I've grown up with it and it's not something that I take personally. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be a mix of fashion week looks and the non-fashion week looks from before the time that we were together. 
together. So Philippa and I are together now for four years. And this is like from before we were together. But what I wanted to say is maybe next time I can also include some looks of while we were together. We'll see. Anyway, yeah. look number one. This is the look. Oh, obviously, they're going to see the look. Yeah. Uh, this look, what yeah. do you want to know? Uh, from uh, one to ten? I want you to give like some, yeah, one to ten, give some like commentary. Which year is that? I believe this was like 2018 or yeah. No, here it's a, it's a full eight. Yeah. I like everything. I'm a brown lover and uh, I love uh, vintage vibes such as a, a vinyl fabric. So I love the jacket. Uh, the bag is okay. The shoes are, are, are good. I love the top and I really like the hairstyle and the, the earrings. So I think this is a full eight. It's something I will go out with you and your outfit. Yeah? Yeah, because sometimes I will go out only with you. No, with the outfit. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> it depends from that. No, but I mean, lately, it's... Uh, I mean, I think I never really... I was never... Uh, embarrassed? No, no, maybe embarrassed with you. I would never be embarrassed. I remember on our first date, Filippo told me that, like, um, one thing he could not is go out with, like, a woman that is, like, embarrassing him in the way that she dresses in terms of, like, being vulgar, I think, right? Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah. Everybody has their yeah. own uh, thing, you yeah. know? Uh, and then someone would say you can't be embarrassed of your of the person you love there are other for me there are things that are important if you come out uh, dressed up with uh, the boobs out with uh, can i say the boobs out yeah, no I, I mean in a vulgar way yeah in a vulgar way then i'd be like okay uh, go out no problem <laughs> do whatever you want but if you don't mind i'll uh, i see you <laughs> at home so that's but, yeah yeah but i think it's fair I think this is also fair. People okay. can have like different rules. Yeah. Really this interest. outfit, I, I I mean, I like it. Okay, this is one of my first ever London Baby, fashion Baby, this weeks. is for me 10. Yeah? Yeah, this is for me 10. It's 10 because you have a black uh, skinny. Yeah. You have a denim. Yeah, shirt. And you have... Uh, Actually the looks like something you would wear. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you have the Boston. Yeah. Or the Phantom, whatever, which is it a bag. Uh, it's a Celine bag th at the time. The Here we are 2015, 2016. And it was uh, such a trend. And you have what? A necklace here? It's from Zara. It was yeah. like a trend no, no. Zara necklace. This is what I would wear, you know? The shoes like, are uh, urban outfitters. And they are sweat. Wooden, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as well. So for me, this is 10. Because for me, you can never be wrong if you have a black denim, uh, sweat boots, and a denim shirt. That's You cannot like be wrong. Like a classic. No, no, For you me, I really dislike that my hair was so orange, obviously. But, yeah, but, they, are, um, they are a bit orange. Yeah. yeah, and like also, like, I don't know. I remember, I think I arrived back from New York Fashion Week. I went straight into London, and I just like, there's no time. I didn't even pay attention to these things. This one is super cool. This low every look. No, it's an acne. Uh, it is? Acne it could, suit. It could be suit. low every I think kind I still have it, actually. I love it. The camel, it's, uh, it's one of the chicest color, uh, in my opinion, especially if you match it with white mm -hmm. or um, mm -hmm. with white or with black but I love it I love everything here this is another like full 10 this is New York Fashion Week 2020 so not that long ago and it's probably going to be my favorite look yeah. of this whole judging this is super chic but don't yeah. worry the bad ones are coming also you know what this is very much yourself yeah because uh, it's oversized but oversi with a bit of fitted yeah. vibe somewhere Tamara's vibes are oversized some people could think uh, oversized items suits people that uh, it's difficult to flatter yeah you know what i mean yeah that's not the case because tamara looks super good in a super short uh, sandra and dress as well rule um these the oversized items suits tamara because uh, her personality is oversized it's true it's true you are an oversized person yeah 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 it's a compliment I like it. I yeah. mean, I'm just like never thought of it that way. But I do think it suits me because I have inside of me this mix of gentle and very harsh, which is like oversized and a bit fitted. No, the truth is that oversize shows personality. To wear oversize, you need to be confident because it's not flattering. Mm. An over big, big oversized jacket is not flattering. It doesn't make you more beautiful. Yeah. It doesn't. It just, you need a strong personality. So whenever you see around people wearing oversized outfits, to me, that shows a lot of personality. Okay, next up. This is... Whoa. Oi. <laughs> this is... Uh, where are you? At the Venice Carnival. London. <laughs> Huh? London Fashion Week, September wow. 2014. Maybe there is nothing right here. Nothing. Probably the sunglasses. But even that, I'm not so sure. Yeah, about. this is a full four. Four? Is yeah. It even better than I thought you would No, say. baby, we don't go below four. But baby, I remember I was wearing these yellow Jimmy shoes, Anouk. It's called the name of the model. I bought them on a sample sale for like 70 pounds. And I wore them nonstop and they're like 12 centimeters. Like to walk in them was, you know, I couldn't afford a taxi. And like I had to walk all day long in them. That was like... Anyway, we don't go 
below four, okay? Let's see. I'm not sure what I've prepared no, for No, maybe you. it's not fair uh, below four. We but can go zero as well. No, no, we don't do zero, but we do four, and this is a full four. Okay. Not, nothing to say. So here are some of my London Fashion Week looks. I have them, I think, also on separately. Wow. I think we have to go below four here, maybe. Wow. What the... This is the day Stefan was born. But baby, this is so sweet. And also, then I ran home when my sister called me. She was like, I think I'm going you know, to... It's it's difficult the to just it's difficult to just because I know what you were going through in this time. You know, it was just the, your beginning. Yeah. You didn't have any because you know Tamara doesn't come from a fashion background. You know, no. she's a pharmacist. So yeah. what does she know? Yeah. You know? And here you can see. <laughs> <laughs> that you know nothing. But it's okay. But it's also, very, I guess it's I'm very... a proof that you can no, learn. baby. You are the proof that uh, you don't need any degree in fashion. You have it inside or you don't. Mm. And here you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Love it. This Acne Studio sweater was the, very popular. The sweater is actually quite cool. The, the Gladiator shoes were very popular, you know, but putting everything together was probably... Yeah. And then, like, tucking hair in the sweater yeah. was very, very popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this look you've seen, obviously, yeah, you judged it's a it. No. Here we go much better because okay. here I see, like, something rock mm -hmm. and punk. So okay. I, like, love the, the leather skirt. Skirt, probably, this is the leather. I saw it uh, from uh, <laughs> 10 kilometers. There is nothing in leather here, but it looks like leather. Yeah. I love the socks with the shoes. Yeah, those yeah, are yeah. like Saint Laurent shoes. Super punk. I got love it. A part of a and maybe I love the denim. Yeah, and I love the crop shop, top. And it was also from Topshop. And shop. I mean, I still have this crop top, by the way, and I still. Wear I know. It. I know what it is. Yeah. I love it. You know, I never been a fan of these Dior no? glasses. Never. Not even when they came out. Never. So real. And when these sunglasses came out, I searched for them high and low, and I couldn't find them anywhere. And then eventually, I found them in Monaco. I was like the happiest girl on earth. I felt like I yeah. own the world. With but the maybe I. I, I mean, uh, what is this? Balenciaga, the bag? No, it's uh, Mulberry Alexa. Ah, the Mulberry. Well, this is a six. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I like it. I love the, the vibe. This is a, a, a look that you could uh, still wear today. Okay, so a classic. Yeah. So I told you I wear these shoes all the time. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, look, uh, okay. This is a full, it's a five. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. This looks to me like... Um, Can you recognize where I am? This is Milan. I love the Celine bag. This is the... Um, trapeze. The trapeze. And you know what this looks like? Don't tell me. This looks like... Wait, 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 wait. Um, you know it. It's the Greek. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh my In God. the meanwhile, I will tell you. No, tell me, tell me the... Uh, America Tazo. America which was a big, big trend at the moment. Yeah. And I think that you put all the things together very well beside, yeah, the, beside the shoes. Yeah. What I wanted to say is that this bag I bought myself as a heartbreak gift because I was really heartbroken in December. <laughs> Who did it? Yeah, I know, baby. So unfair, right? Yeah. And I was really heartbroken and I wanted to give myself a Christmas gift and I spent my last money for the bag, which I do not advise anybody to do, but it helped. Yeah. You know? So here we have like three looks. Love this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a seven. I mean, I mean the bag honest, the bag is wrong. For 2014. Love it. And you know, I know you say the bag is wrong, okay? But yeah. just hear me out. Yes. I had like 10 bags. Yes, I know, I know. So it's not like you can really Yeah, go... but I'm sure you had a white or a black one or a red one. Mm. This is the color, it's uh unless it's a blue, this is uh, navy white. Yeah. You know, I tried. I had silver shoes, the pajama style, no. But the pajama steamer. style I like it. This is a and full I would wear seven. This, I would wear Six, this today as well. Six and a half. Well, this look was from Joseph Silk Pajama and I borrowed it from a partner of mine because obviously I didn't have enough like outfits at Fashion Weeks, etc. How about this? Uh, no, look, this uh, I love the shape of the dress. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. Wrong shoes because it looks like uh, two salamini. <laughs> <laughs> Do a salamini. The legs or the feet? The, the feet, feet, the feet, yeah. the feet is like a two little picture. cotechino. Got we call it. it. Yeah? I agree. And I like it. I like also the the all Necklace. these necklaces on. It was uh, a big trend, and you see yeah. in the background Arco della Pace. Yeah, it was in Milan. And I like very much the color. You know, this electric blue is uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, color. I do. Okay. Oh, this was the day so Stefan cute. was born. Love yeah. It. Okay. Love it. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, shoes are not my thing at all, but uh, I, I know it was a trend. It was my most worn shoes Yeah, ever. I like the coat very much. And I like the picture. What is this? It I depends. also like the picture. The pants is like I a... hated this look, to be yeah. honest, because it looks like something like very tight and, and was very tight. I couldn't even close. Okay, I think that this uh, the, the picture is pretty... 
prettier, than, the prettier than the outfit. Prettier than the outfit. Correct. Agree. Okay. Next outfit. You need Philip's okay. full attention Just because check. next outfit is very. I'm gonna hide. Yeah. It. Also, you know, in Europe, uh, it's. Yeah. Uh, same. My on. phone is guys. My phone is like message, message, yes. message, message, message. So this outfit. This outfit. Wow. No, baby, this is too, so much is going on here. This is a four. Four? I, I can't even look at it. Another it four? A... Well, let me just tell All you I that see... Vogue didn't think so. Yeah, well... Vogue thought it was cool. Yeah. And this is me, and look who else. Who is it, Xenia? No. no. I don't know. Who is that? You're like one of my friends that is one of your favorite, my friends. Oh, Sandra. Yes. Ciao, it's Sandra. A, it's a very low uh, quality picture, but it's Sandra and me at Fashion Week. We used to come to Fashion Weeks and like we would share a room because we couldn't, we didn't want to spend money on two rooms, especially at the yeah. beginning when, when the income was like none. So we wanted to be very smart and business oriented on this. So we would come, we would share a room and we would do like pictures of each other and we would do street style together and all of these things and go to the shows together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit too much going on here. Also for Sandra, by the way. <laughs> so rate both of our looks and I'll let Sandra watch it. Yeah. You can rate both of our looks. Uh, look. Uh, I mean, Sandra's hair is 10. No, Sandra Sandra is a 10 without clothes. I agree. I mean, no, you, I, I, I don't mean naked. I mean, without this outfit, Sandra is 10. But uh, Sandra, your <laughs> shoes... Uh, this came out so wrong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, Sandra, your shoes is two. <laughs> And, uh, but I like the, uh, but the, the blazer is no, the, co the coat, coat slash blazer is uh, like a full nine. So the bag, I can't see it. And the skirt is, uh, is a five. So nine plus five is 14 plus two, 16 divided by three. Like uh, four and a half. Four and a half. No, cinque, dieci, quindici. Five and five point <laughs> three periodic. So yeah, you baby, uh, no, nothing. I would wear the Balenciaga. Maybe you know the the car next to you is uh, better. <laughs> Dressed, you know. I tell you one quick, very quick story. Yes. I bought these boots in Paris. I had a job. They were nine hundred euros at the time, which was for me like obscene amount of money. Maybe nine hundred euros is still a huge amount of money amount. for yeah. A, yeah. But just to tell you, like it was ridiculous, you know. But I had the job for that amount of money, okay. And I was in Paris. I got the boots, so I basically didn't even get paid yet, but I already spent the money. Yeah. I got the boots. I came on Garden North. Someone told me your bag is open. I I put the I put the bag like the shopping bag down to close my bag and I got on the train and I forgot to the shoes when the train I remember left, yeah the, the story I guys I feel the heart pain losing something that I paid so much money for because I was not present in the moment and because I was just so distracted and because I was so anyway I got them eventually later but I was very 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 upset next look this is the cake it's a very random thing it's nothing to judge it's a cake that my, my mom for the 200 cake. yeah for the 200 cake and we're just putting that because I just reached 1.7 million followers. When? Already? No, when they watch this because no! we're No! Baby, I didn't know. Maybe you knew when they watch this, you'll oh, okay. be 1.7. Anyway, listen. Because we're just 100 short or 1.7. Okay, so baby, hopefully we'll reach it. Let's go. Because I have uh, five Almost, minutes. almost. Okay. So this is the first time that I ever got to work with Fendi in 2015. I, I, I like this look very much. It's a full seven beside the cat that is coming out from the... Maybe that's a Carlito. What is the Carlito? It was Carl Lagerfeld, little Carl. Oh, okay. Made of uh, like some furry material. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah? I, I also, I love the, the combination of the so colors. it's not a fashion week look anymore. It's more like a casual. Yeah, and you know, I like when uh, I, I like when you girls wear the the cross body bag because it gives you a little bit of lightness okay. whenever you you know you're going around. Here we have a look that I was extremely proud of because this coat I picked from the outlet I borrowed it. Oh, it's very cool. Right, right. they and loaned the, it to me. It was uh, like this 3D applique is, green is Chanel beautiful. bag, and because, the bag is amazing because you see it had these like green details. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. This we'll a, rate it. This is a full eight. Yeah, I mean, for nowadays, this would be too much, I think. Yeah. It was like some kind of Fendi. I wore it for the Fendi No, show. look, uh, to be honest, for a fashion week, it could be also a cool look. Yeah? You know? Yeah, also I need to see from in front. Yeah, because, don't uh, have a picture. But it's uh, it's not that bad, huh? Yeah? No, no, I think I think it's very artistic. You see where it is? Yeah. In um, close 
do Mandarin. This is uh, not too bad. I, I mean, maybe for me, my worst is those boots on the. Those on are the, the Fendi boots. Yeah. It was a sample. I love them so much. Yeah, but you see those boots, they're very tricky because they always cut your legs, no matter who you are. And uh, you should wear it with a very, very short leather jacket. The length is wrong. Yeah. Uh, the bag is uh, wow. <laughs> but I like the combi. Okay, colors, it's a, it's eight. Good combo, right? Yeah, it good look, combo. I think sometimes the color combo is so important. It gives like this look, it makes it work. But when you separate it all out, like no, the color pieces. the color combo is everything. That's why we okay. always say don't play with more than three colors. Another on your street style look of your fashion favorite duo. Wow. I remember those shoes. They Stella were McCartney. such a trend. Yeah. yeah, of course, Sandra was always the first one with all the new shoes. Yeah, trends. wow, girls here, uh, not a very... No? Uh. This, I look, we're holding hand in hand. How yeah. cute. I, I remember this was a Dolce & Gabbana jacket. Again, I borrowed. I don't know what Sandra is wearing, which to me, she looks great. She was wearing her Louis Vuitton twist bag. I was wearing my Jimmy Choo suede bag. And these are the Louboutin shoes. No, look, I love you both, you know, but... Oh, look at the, the caption. I'm so grateful to have this girl in my life. And that aged well. We've been friends now for 10 years. Yeah. I love this look. I also people. like it. So I, I also wanted like to it. choose it. It's no, a yeah. silk trench coat. Love it. With flowers from 2016 I mean eight years ago I think still would wear it no no I like it very you much you know what I yeah, mean yeah yeah the coat is beautiful this was a look that I wore for to a versus show mm -hmm. in Milan and I remember thinking at the time that it was like the sexiest thing that I but baby, it, it is uh, ever it is, worn. Uh, it is sexy. So you see, it has this kind of open back, very simple. I think I still have this top, to be honest. And these like almost like boot cut jeans. No, no, I like it. This is a seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. Now I wanted to include a bit of like a fashion week, more charade. Baby, look at me and Caro. Look wow. at Caro. Look yeah. at me. How young are we? Very. Well, to be honest, and not. Uh... Who is worse dressed? Uh, it's, I, think uh, I, th I think you. Yeah. Because Caro, she's you know cool. You know the hair yeah. thing. And the, the jumpsuit or yeah. whatever it is. We were going to the Missoni show, I believe. And uh, yeah, everything just looks wrong. Yeah. Crazy. More of this, but a little bit upgraded version. Yeah, so you still have this. Uh, this is, I'm sure, is Lobutan or no, something. No, it was Jimmy Choo. Uh, uh, these things is not my my thing at all. The you shoe. Know? Yeah. You don't like any kind of gladiator. Filippo doesn't like any. No, look, kind there of are a kind of gladiator belty. I love, which is the Alaya ones. You know, Alaya sometimes does that uh, with the zip in the back, yeah. you know? Yeah. But it's not uh, an easy shoe to wear. How do you like the look? I like it very much. I love this uh, antique pink and I love your Fendi bag. No, yeah, no, I think. During this video, how many messages do you think? my sister sent me uh, one million right yes i wanted to choose this look to show you because i actually shot a look here yesterday as well so i'll put a side to side actually comparison but uh what do you think mm, there is, no there is no nothing, nothing right in no this look lette. no lette. <laughs> <laughs> no, like this. Baby, baby, no. It's like I wouldn't even dress my baby in this. No. You know what I mean? No, no. It's like, uh, okay, next. So you're not even going to rate no, it, okay? No, it is a three. Baby. <laughs> He said we're not going to be giving This is actually phone. very nice. Yeah? Yeah. But it's such a like womanly. Yeah, it's just, it's just the boots. I can't, I can't do these boots on the knees. No? No. Wow, but so bad that it could be cool because this is like a Dolce Gabbana. Hey, baby. Honestly, this it's is all Dolce Gabbana. Yeah, yeah, I can see, but it's not maybe it's so six. Bad that it could yeah, be yeah, cool. so bad it could be cool. Okay, this is shot in Brighton, yeah. by the way. What about this? No, that's very cool. So I got a sample of this Louis Vuitton bag in 2017. It was like a very early days of me starting to work with the brand, and I didn't have a look, but they gave me like a very basic white dress. Then I put this top from Zara over it to kind of style it. Yeah, baby, keep going. I'm gonna get ready, but talk, call me when you need me. Here, I wanted to show you this picture. You have to comment on it and then you can leave. No, I think I love the shoes very much. I love the um, the oversized plastic uh, thing on, no. Uh, and I love the GG, it's so iconic. Baby. You don't think there's too much going on? No, I, I mean, love... there is, but you know, when there is a lot, a lot, a lot going on in that way, then it's... Uh... Well, this is London Fashion Week, very long ago. I don't have the year here. And I have to say that I mentioned this picture so much, it's my Roman Empire, because some how yeah. that picture is still I still get tagged in that picture it went viral like people loved it it was like those kind of times when like when you get any sort of PR you're like oh my god like I was featured by this magazine or someone tagged me in a picture or this is amazing like I have to say it's a little bit um, it changes you know, like the feeling wears off if like you start getting a lot of 
PR or like getting a lot of street style or whatever, it kind of wears off a little bit. That's true. However, it is still not to be forgotten because like for me, I personally love to go back and to look at those old pictures, old outfits, old everything that we did because it gives me so much motivation to keep going. I mentioned this before in an interview. I think it's very easy. You will rate my outfit. Yes. Your outfit, maybe it's 10 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, my love. Okay, Please. so let me know. It would be great, baby. Can Filippo you is just putting his Alhambra bracelet on and he does it by himself and he has a very, very special Alhambra. I think you should show it to my audience. Let's show it. <laughs> the bracelet or how you put it no, on? No, how I put it. So you open it. Can you see it? Yes, they can see. Yeah. And then you do, wait, and then you do like that. Oh, sorry. Now you have the pressure, right? No, no, it's okay. Ah! <laughs> da, da, da. And he does it every day. I never remove my jewelry, but Filippo removes his jewelry every single day. Then he puts it back on and that's and it. That's it. Done. But wait, you have to bring it close to the camera so that they can see the stone. That's it. It's the Pieta Sant white gold. It's very special. Maybe I love, love it. it. I love it more. So, I wanted to show you just one other look. Because yeah, some here. Because I had, this was a London Fashion Week look, and I had the Jimmy Choo Off-White collaboration shoes. Yeah. You see, it came out in, I don't know, which uh, year. Zoom it, zoom it. Maybe I love the denim. I love the shoes. I still have this. And denim, I love, you way. see the colors. They're all the same family. I love it. Well, actually, funnily enough, we made it to the end of this, like, um, Filippo commenting on my outfits. There were, like, three looks that he hasn't commented that I want comment on literally one that was very 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 bad i think especially the hairstyle was very bad so maybe it's good that he hasn't seen it you know i mean we're still on track to get married so let's keep it that way there is one look that i'm gonna insert the picture here that i wore this zara skirt it was like a viral it like went crazy the zara skirt afterwards and i remember afterwards like i saw so many people were sending me images of like this person copied your look this person copied your look like sometimes it happens like yesterday i received a message from someone saying like look this person copied your picture completely the picture that i recently created in the car and i don't take it as like that kind of like when someone like recreates a picture or gets inspired i mean it doesn't really bother me when those things happen because like again i think it's like we all do our best right we all do our best we all try to do whatever we can to do to do yesterday i was sitting and speaking to or day before yesterday i think i was sitting at a show speaking to a colleague of mine and i was saying you know what i can get on with i think 99 percent of people out of like 100 my only issue is when people have like deep 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 insecurities because i am a pretty confident person like confident in knowing who i am so that even when i look at these really bad outfits that are worn and like we together we rip them apart and we say this was horrible and like or like oh my god you looked so bad your hair was horrible here you looked I don't want to say ugly because I don't like calling other women ugly I never use that word for women ever it's like one of my rules but like let's say I didn't look great and I decided to change things like you know I, I don't know it was 10 years ago or whatever or I grew up or like the fat in my face kind of you know how the baby fat goes away or like you know I've like obviously grew out my eyebrows or whatever it is anyway I was saying that if like I'm so confident with us saying I looked not so great outfit was awful what was I thinking I had no clue about styling I had no clue about fashion industry and I'm so comfortable with all of that I'm even like if someone tells me like oh my god like you know I again like I said I come from this like very strong Vulcan family where we like love each other but we still would say to each other when we don't look great or when something doesn't come out great or when the job is not done well so it's part of like me understanding that it's not necessarily end of the world if you don't look great you know what i mean my confidence anyway doesn't rely on my look so it's okay with me but it's very difficult for me to hang out with deeply insecure people because i am confident so then my confidence sometimes can make them feel threatened even though it has nothing like it doesn't endanger them in any way shape or form and then the relationship becomes like i end up being like a little bit of a victim in this relationship which i don't allow and and then usually at the end I kind of go like ah, crazy so yeah I <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this very long story is I was speaking to this colleague of mine at a fashion show and I was saying you know what I love love people that just like you know stand firmly where they are so this video is a little reminder that it's okay if we don't have our best days or it's okay if we have like terrible outfits it's okay even if they happen still today I think what's not okay is to be pretentious about it and precious about it and not to you know to always take yourself so seriously 
seriously. Like imagine if I was taking myself so seriously, like I'm some kind of important like stylist or style guru or whatever. I think like that's so cringe and passe and it's never my intention on this channel. So that's something that I really wanted to share with you and a message that I want to send into the world that it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to, if someone gives you a comment, that's their problem. Like if they give you a rude comment, you know what I mean? That's their problem. If people say like, hey, I didn't like this. It's okay. Don't take things to heart. Like I've spoken about these things before. You should not let someone kind of come into your space and affect you with their comments deeply but use it to make you grow, to get better, and um, just like a bit of feedback and have a bit of fun. That's my main message to you today. I quite like having these little messages out of every video, even if it's an entertaining video. And if I can sound, since we're in America, maybe I can sound and be a little bit like, use this moment to be a little bit proud of myself. When I look at these old pictures of mine, when I was starting out, doing my first fashion weeks, I was hustling, I was really trying to make things work, I was spreading myself thin and doing things that I don't really have to do anymore like the fashion shows that I don't have to do anymore or like I don't need to or I don't think are beneficial for my career I feel extremely proud of myself because what Filippo said I don't come from a fashion background I come from very pharmaceutical scientific background and everybody in my family is from the same background so I had no connections I had no knowledge I had no understanding of the industry which is anyway very secretive and it was very new at the time so when I see these old pictures I'm just happy to see progress and that's something you should aim always when you see your old work or your any kind of old whatever it is it doesn't have to be related to the look it can be related to achievements to you know just reminding yourself where you started i think that's the best comparison one can have in their life so that's that ladies and gentlemen i am gonna end this video here because we have so much more to do we're leaving new york we're heading on to the next one and then the next one and then the next one and then pasta thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you would like to see more of filippo rating my looks i mean we have thousands thousands in the archive which is kind of good and a bad thing love you bye guys